What's up, nerds? Welcome to Sanctionary. In the last video, we did an example using mass balance to solve a desalination problem. In this example, I'll be giving you some problem-solving strategies to solving it by hand, then using Excel, and finally, Python. I'm going to assume that you already have Excel and Python already installed on your system, but I'll do my best to try to start from scratch, because I understand coding can be really confusing sometimes. I've gone over the example in the previous video, which you can find in the description, but I highly encourage you to try it out by yourself if you haven't already. I think this example is really great because it'll give us an idea of how to actually translate all these mass and mass fraction calculations into code. So first we want to solve it by hand because not only does that give you an idea of what the problem actually means, but it'll give you an idea of how to actually translate it to code. As you can see, it's repetitive. We're starting with mass 9, going down to mass 1, and mass fraction 9, also going down to mass fraction 1. But we can see that they're really similar equations. You're just changing one value. Just look how tedious this math is. Wouldn't it be way easier to automate it? Let's try it out on Excel. So here we are on Excel. All I've done is create two tables for knowns and unknowns, with three columns for the variables, values, and units in both of these tables. So now we're going to use the equations that we just wrote as well as the values that we inputted into our knowns to solve for these equations. Let's solve for mass 10 by clicking this cell and typing equals and clicking the values in our knowns for our x in times our mass in divided by our x10. Sweet, so now we're gonna do the same thing for this equation. So I'm gonna type in 0.1 times m in minus m10. Click enter, boom, that's our answer. Cool, so we got these two equations. Now this next part can be kind of tricky, but all we're gonna do is count backwards from 10 and look at the previous iteration for the mass and input those into our equations. So the first equation is gonna be equals to mass of the water plus m10, and that value is for mass nine. Next is for mass eight, so again, it's gonna be mass of the water plus mass of the previous one we just solved for, which is mass nine, and this time, before hitting enter, I'm going to put a dollar sign or hit F4 to keep the mass of the water constant. And now, check this out. Now it's going to keep the mass of the water constant. So now if I click this cell and drag it all the way down, boom, look at that. We've completely automated this so we can solve for all the variables automatically. Now I'm going to speed this next part up, so I really encourage you to try this by yourself if you haven't already. And just like that, we finished using Excel. Now let's move on to Python. I'm going to start by importing the libraries. I'm going to use NumPy as NP, followed by math. Then I'll import matplotlib to plot stuff. Actually, in this case, I won't be plotting anything. I'll be importing array as R as well. And now I'll be defining the variables just like what we did in Excel. So I'll write m in, x in, and x10. So these are our knowns, and now we can write our unknowns. So our first equation is m10 equals x in times m in divided by x10. And then we have m water equals 0 0.1 times m in minus m10. It's a good idea to check if your code runs every now and then. Then we have m9 equals m water plus m10, and m8 equals m water plus m9, etc., etc. And now that we have all the calculations, all we have to do is display the results using the print function. So here's the syntax. I had to round some of the values in this case, so that's what the round is for. And boom, just like that, we have all our values. 
And yeah, I mean, that was great, but that was just as tedious, if not more, than just doing it by hand. So why don't we just get rid of all of this, and I'll show you a nice trick using a for loop. So next we're going to try to automate our calculation. I'm going to start by defining a new variable as mass in is equal to mass 10. This is going to initialize our mass counter for our for loop. And then I'll write x in and initialize it as x tenth. So that's going to be a general xn equation that we're going to change as we iterate in the for loop. Similarly, we'll have an equation for mn, and I'll initialize this as a general mass. So next, we're going to be writing the actual for loop. And remember, anything that goes inside the for loop, it's going to iterate until you tell it to stop and change the value of the equations you input. So I'll write for i in np dot a range, and this is going to be an array from 0 to 10 minus 1, which is 9 with a spacing of 1, so that's what those numbers mean. And don't forget that colon, it's really important. And now we're going to enter the for loop, and I'm going to change the value of xn by using the equation, which is going to be xn times mass n divided by, well, I'm really going to be dividing by mn, but I want to write it out. And now mass n, which depends on mass of the water, plus the previous mass n, and so the last thing I'll do is just print the results of each of the equations. Again, it's going to iterate through all of these and allow us to do it automatically. And boom, now we have all the masses that we calculated and it's going to do it automatically with the for loop so we don't have to write that giant iteration of everything. So we just did this for n equals 10 reactors. So I encourage you to write this as a general program for n equals, well, any number of reactors. So you can change it to n equals 20 or even n equals 100 or even 1000 if you wanted to. So if we have n equals 100 reactors, we have all these calculations that we don't have to do because, well, the program does it for us automatically. And so now that we finished the program, I think this is a great place to stop. Hey, nerds. Hope you learned from and enjoyed the video. Check out the links down below to download the notes for this video as a PDF or a PowerPoint. Hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Sanctuary for any questions or requests for videos or you can just leave a comment in the description. Definitely check out my website, sanchengineering.weebly.com. I got articles, PDFs, cheat sheets, calculators, and it's all completely free. Because I know for a fact that when I was a broke college student, I didn't pay for anything unless absolutely necessary. So that's why everything on Sanchengineering is completely free. All I ask is at the very least, you simply subscribe and share my videos with your friends and classmates if you enjoyed it. That way, we can all help each other. Don't forget to share this with your friends, family, and dogs.